Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve another sum based on minimization problem under the chapter assignment model. In our video series, this is our sixth problem sum that we are going to be solving. Now, this is again one of the advanced sum under minimization problem. So, let us see how to solve this particular sum under the chapter assignment model under the subject operation research. Okay, now let us see this question number six how to solve. Uh, find the minimum distance to be covered from the assigning one car from source to the destination. So, there are destinations and then there are sources. One, two, three, four, five, five destination, five source. So, it is a balance equation. Okay, it's a balance matrix. So, now let us see how to solve sum when they ask you to minimize. It is a minimization sum. Okay, so now let us see step by step number one. Your first step will always be we need to first find row minimization. Now, row minimization ke liye, we'll have to create a structure, a tabular structure similar to the question that they have given us. So, we will have, you know, the destinations as well as the sources. Okay. Now, the destination for, in place of destination, we'll write the, you know, the names of destinations. So, we have A, B, C, D and E. And for sources, we have capital A, B, C, D and E. Okay. Now, in order to get the values of row minimization, it, remember, again, row wise, whichever is the minimum value, that value will get deducted from all the subsequent value from the similar row. Okay. So, we have uh, capital A, B, C, D. These are our four, you know, five rows. So, let us see one by one how to get the row minimization value. In the first row, the minimum value is four. So it will be 4 minus all other values. So 4 minus 4. 4 is the lowest value. We'll have to subtract 4 from all other values in the entire row. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 6 minus 4 is 2. 11 minus 4 is 7. 16 minus 4 is 12. And 9 minus 4 will be 5. Similarly, in row B, the lowest value is 5. So 5 minus all other values. So 5 minus 5 is, five is 0. 8 minus 5 is 3, 16 minus 5 is 11, next will be 14, and last will be 4. In the third row, the lowest is 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1, 3 minus 3 is 0, 18, 18, and 10. In the fourth row, the lowest value is 6. So we'll minus 6 from all other values. So 6 minus 6 is 0, 0, 3, 5, and 1. In the last row, the 11 is the, uh, is the smallest value. So, you know, 11 minus all other values. So, we should get, you know, these amounts 0, 0, 5, 15 and 0. That's our step number 1. We need to get the row minimization. Second, step number 2. We need to get column minimization now. Now, column minimization will be found with the help of the row minimization table only. Okay, so again, we'll have to create a similar structure. So, we will have our sources and destination, ka, you know, the structure. So, we have one and we will have another one. I guess that should be enough. Okay, so we have A, B, C, D and E. And along with that, we have A, B, C, D, and E. Now, for column minimization, again, we'll uh, pick out each column from that column, whichever is the lowest value, that value will be subtracted from all other values in that particular column. Now, here, 0 is the lowest value, so all other values won't change because 0 minus anything will give you the same value. In the second column, again, 0 is the lowest value, so eventually the values remain same. In the third row, 3 is the lowest value. So, 7 minus 3 will be 4, 11 will be 8, 15, 3 minus 3 is 0, and 2. In the fourth column, the lowest value is 5. So, everything minus 5 will be 7, 9, 13, 0, and 10. And in the last 0 is the lowest value, so all other values remain the same. 
Okay, once you'll have done with the column minimization, now we need to start assigning the zeros. Okay, so always go row wise. Whichever row has only one zero, that zero will get assigned. Subsequently, all other zeros in that same row and column will get crossed out. So let us see one by one. Now, in the first row, there is one zero, so we assign that particular zero. All other subsequent zero in that line will get crossed out. In the second row, there is no zeros done. In third row, there is one. We mark it out. We assign it. All other zeros, subsequent zeros will get cut in that entire column. In the third, there are two zeros. We can't mark it. So we go to the next row. In fifth, there is only one. So we mark that. No other zeros to cross out. After doing row wise, start with the column wise. In the first column. Yeah, uh, it's already marked. Second is marked. Third, when there is one zero, so we mark it out. All other subsequent zero will get crossed out. Now, in the entire column minimization table, there is no more zeros to either assign or cross out. Okay, so now we will try to find out what is how you know how many assigned values are there and what is the matrix to check whether it is optimum solution or not. So here, the assigned Values. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four. So there are only four assigned values. Whereas the matrix size, when we said it is a five by five matrix, okay. So it doesn't match. Therefore, the solution is not optimal. The moment the solution is not optimal, we'll have to create a modified matrix. Okay, now again the you know the column the structure will be the same. So we'll first make the structure and then we'll see how to get those values of this modified uh, you know matrix. Okay, again we have A, B, C, D, and E, and here we'll have capital A, B, C, D, and E. Now, in order to get the new matrix, always remember we come back to the column minimization table, and now we'll have to cross some lines. Okay, we'll have to you know cross some columns or line, or we'll have to make some lines and some columns and row in order to get the new value. So the rule is check in row wise whichever row doesn't have any assigned zero. I can see row B doesn't have any assigned zero. So in that row, whichever zero has been crossed out from that particular zero. Make a column, a, a line striking the entire column. Okay, so that's one line which has been crossed out. Now, row-wise, check which other rows uh, have multiple zeros and then cross out those particular rows. So, see, your th last row has three zeros, so we'll cross it out. The second last row has again, uh, you know, three zeros, so we can cross that out uh, also. we will cross it out and subsequently the you know the third law also has a zero so we can cross it out also okay so here we have done all the crossing of lines which had all the zeros present in it now the next rule is once we do that the next rule is in the unmarked section whatever is the lowest value that value will get subtracted from all other values in that unmarked section okay so your unmarked ka if you look carefully the unmarked value uh, or the lowest value in the unmarked is 2 so what we'll do here is 2 the value 2 will get subtracted from all other values which are there in the unmarked section so let us do 2 minus 2 becomes 0 4 minus 2 will be 2 7 minus 2 is 5 5 minus 2 is 3 3 minus 2 is 1 8 minus 2 is 6 7 and 2 rule number 1 take the lowest and minus with all the unmarked Second rule, whatever was the lowest value, add that to all the intersecting point of the lines. So here you can see this is one line. This is the point of intersection where it was 1. So 1 plus 2 will become 3. 0 plus 2 will become 2. And again 0 plus 2 will become 2. So wherever the lines intersect, that point gets added. Rest all the values remain as it is. So we note it down as it is. So we'll take the values as it is from the others. Okay, now once we are done that, again we will try, you know, assigning the values to all the zeros row wise and then column wise and check whether the sum is optimal or not. Okay, now in the first row, 
there are two zeros so i cannot mark it so i'll keep it as it is i'll go to the next one in row b there is only one zero so i assign that all of the subsequent zeros get crossed out in the third row there is only one zero available so i will assign that all other subsequent zeros will get cut off in the third uh, fourth row there are two zeros i can't do anything so i go ahead in the fifth row there is one zero so i will mark it become column wise now column wise this is done this is done now column c has only one zero i mark it all other subsequent zeros get crossed out okay now once we do that again we will check the assigned values now in this the assigned value again we have 1 2 3 4 we have only four assigned values and the matrix size is 5 therefore still the solution is not optimal and if it is not optimal again we'll have to create a new modified matrix okay so again similar structure will be created and now from the first modified matrix again we'll do the linings and try to get the new values of a new modified matrix table so again we will first do the markings Okay, so we are again we had cap small a, b, c, d, and e are destinations, and our sources is capital A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, now come back to our modified matrix. Again, we'll have to do some linings. Again, the one which doesn't have uh, the row which doesn't have any uh, assigned zero that will be first selected, and from there we will be you know crossing out all the columns. Okay. So now in the first row there are no assigned zero but I can see two zeros so from there we will be crossing out the two lines okay the two columns and wherever you can see multiple zeros that rows will get crossed out so row number 4 get crossed out and the row number 5 will get crossed out because it has some zeros in it okay and the procedure is again similar the unmarked from the unmarked whatever is the lowest value that value gets subtracted from them so again 2 is the lowest value so 2 minus 2 is 0 5 minus 2 is 3 3 minus 2 is 1 6 minus 2 is 4 7 minus 2 5 2 minus 2 0 15 minus 2 is 13 13 minus 2 is 11 10 minus 2 is 8 next wherever the lines are intersecting that particular points will get added by the lowest value from the unmarked so 2 was the lowest these are your intersecting points so all this get added by 2 so 2 plus 2 becomes 4 0 plus 2 will become 2 again 2 plus 2 becomes 4 0 plus 2 becomes 2 rest all the values remain as it is so i'll just note it down 0 0 0 1 3 0 i'm just noting the all the other values as it is okay so 0 0 1 2 ten and zero okay chal so once we have done that again we go in the same order okay in the first row we'll have to start assigning again in the first row there are three zeros can't assign we jump ahead in the second row there are two zeros again i can't assign we go ahead in the third row there's only one zero i'll assign that all subsequent other zeros get crossed out in the fourth row again there are two zeros can't do Now go ahead in the fifth row there is only one i will assign that and i'll cross the other ones so the the row part is done so we go to the column part now again in first column there are two i can't do anything we keep it as it is in the second row everything has been done in the third row again there are two zeros can't do anything so i'll go in the fourth row i mean the fourth column Okay, the, I'm talking about the column. First column, uh, there are two. I can't do anything. In the second column, everything is done. Third has two zeros. Can't do anything. Go ahead. In the fourth column, there's only one. 
so I assign that all other zeros subsequently will get crossed out. Once you are done that, again go from the row point of view. Say from the row, first row again there are two, can't do anything. In the second row, there's only one. So I assign that all other zeros get cut out. So second has, third has uh, assigned fourth, fifth. So there's only remaining the first one. That's the only zero available. So that gets assigned. Once you do that, again we'll check the assigned values. So here the assigned value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the matrix size is also equals to 5 therefore it is you know the solution is optimal you can now you can say that therefore the solution is optimal and if the solution is optimal we can get the final answer therefore the optimal assignment is so now whatever is the assigned value so for source a the destination is going to be c so c3 that is so the c3 ka value is 11 for source b the destination value is a and a ka value is 5 for c the destination value is b so b2 is for the source C, B2 is 3. For source D, the value was given as small d. So d ka small d value is 11. And for source E, the value is supposed to be E, which is 11. So when we add up, okay, the total. So 11, 16, 19, 30, 41 is the final value. So final answer. Therefore, the total minimum distance is 41 kilometers. Okay, so our final answer will be, therefore, the total minimum distance is 41 kilometers. Got it? So with this, we were able to complete again uh, one of the advanced sum. Okay, again one of the advanced sum from the topic of minimization, where we didn't get the optimal solution at the first go. So we had to modify it. In that also, we didn't get the optimal solution. So we again more had to modify it, and thereafter we got the optimal solution. Okay, those who haven't watched the uh, you know the video on question number five, which was again based on the similar advanced sum, see that or do watch that okay and so with that we can say that we have completed the first six types of sum based on minimization where we had simple problem sum and the advanced problem sum okay uh, in our next video we will be starting off with maximization sums so see that all of you all even watch that because that's the second top you know second main type of sum under this assignment model okay so i hope everyone have understood this particular sum okay See that you'll keep practicing this because it's again a very important topic from the exam point of view. Chal. With that, we will be ending this video here. Okay, thank you all.